Kinsley Carter, AKA KK. So, <laughs> if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. And if you are new, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. Also, um, I am a sugar baby. <laughs> or what I like to call just a spoiled girlfriend, honestly. Uh, I have had my fair share of rich, generous boyfriends. <laughs> but what I wanted to be known is that there are different types of sugar daddy. There's not just one type. Also, some of them are a mix of these different types. So if you are interested to see what kind of daddy you're dealing with, just keep on watching. So I just wanted to be clear that <laughs> Sugar Daddy watch my videos, which is really cool and funny. So if you're trying to see what type of Sugar Daddy you are, uh, I guess you could keep watching too. <laughs> so the first type of Sugar Daddy is the practical Sugar Daddy. He is the one that will pay for your college tuition, um, for your bills, for your utility, utilities, <sighs> any, any basic needs that you need taken care of. He is the one that will do that for you. The next type of sugar daddy is the traveling sugar daddy. Now he usually travels for business and for fun. And he just needs, you know, a beautiful eye candy on his arm to travel with him. Now he would typically take care of all the travel travel expenses and also anything that you need to travel with him. Uh, if it's like you need new bathing suits or you need a winter coat or something he should take care of that also uh, this can depend some sugar days they will like on top of paying for all travel expenses they will give you an allowance uh just for your time for being there and some won't i mean it all comes down to what y'all discuss before you get on that plane <laughs> Now, the next type of sugar daddy, which is one of my favorites, is the mentor sugar daddy. This man, or woman, and particularly, will take you under their wing and obviously mentor you in whatever area you want to be mentored. Also, they will open up doors to different job opportunities, internships, and net networking events. They will take the time to give you connections with their colleagues. And lastly, give you advice on how to start a business or even better yet, uh, give you the money to start your business, okay? <laughs> okay, that's my complete list of different types of sugar daddies that i am familiar with i'm pretty sure there are other different types if you know other types of sugar daddies or sugar mamas please put them in the comment section i also want you to be aware of that sugar daddies are not just one particular sugar daddy some of them are a mix of the different categories that i have said and another thing, some sugar daddies are all of them, which we call a whale, <laughs> which is the top of the top of sugar daddies. <laughs> now that I have stated the different types of sugar daddies or sugar mamas that you will come across, there are two types of men or women that you want to avoid when you are looking for your perfect arrangement. The first one that we want to avoid is the saw daddy. The saw daddy is the man that is all talk and no action. Like he will promise you the world and the moon and the stars and the sun. And you have not seen nothing yet. <laughs> this man will promise to take you on a bunch of shopping trips. Y'all have yet to be been to the mall. He will promise you trips to Bora Bora and Hong Kong and Tokyo. 
you haven't seen no plane tickets you haven't seen no hotel reservations okay <laughs> like he will just make up all these false dreams just to keep you around because you are a pretty gal or a pretty boy all right like saw daddies will seriously take the time to give you all these false hopes and dreams and you're like oh my goodness this is the perfect man if you if he has not followed through with anything that he has said let him go i'm telling you you are wasting time for other potential sugar daddies or sugar moms it's time to let them go now you're probably like how do i spot a salt daddy like how do i avoid a salt daddy when he has said things and you have seen nothing yet that's a salt daddy he's all talk he's wasting your time he literally just wants a pretty girl to give him some attention and you're doing exactly that and you're not getting the benefits so just let him go there's no reason to even waste your time or anything so the other type of person that you want to avoid when searching for your mr right is a splendid daddy now splendids they are not as bad as salt daddies the only thing with splendid daddy is they actually do follow through with their actions um like they will try to spoil you as much as they can but they always fall just a tad bit short like if they want to fly you across the country they will they will buy you a plane ticket but they'll get you like an economy plane ticket they won't get you a first class plane ticket so that's what I mean. Like they will try to do their best to give you the experience. It's just you won't get the VIP experience like you would with an official sugar daddy. So yeah, that's the difference um, between a saw daddy and a splendid daddy. I think a saw daddy is way worse than the splendid daddy because at least a splendid daddy tries. Like they're trying to do all they can to make you happy. <laughs> and a saw daddy is just a... Uh, piece of like they they know they're not going to do nothing to make you happy so they're just wasting your time um so yeah those are the two type of guys uh that you want to avoid so when going to these pot dates um if you don't know what pot is pot just mean potential potential sugar daddy or sugar mama when going on these dates Speak up and let it be known what you want out of these arrangements or relationships. You you have to speak up because I'm telling you, you're dealing with grown people and they will let it be known what they want from you. So you have to let it be known on your end uh, what you want from them, okay? <laughs> Another thing that I want you to keep in mind, if you are looking for a monthly allowance, just remember that according to the number one sugar dating website, Seek an Arrangement, that the average monthly allowance is $3,000 a month. So in other words, that means that there are sugar babies that are earning less than $3,000 a month. And there are sugar babies that are earning more than $3,000 a month. It all comes down to whatever you factor in uh, to that price. Uh, and what you think is worth your time as well. Depending on how many times y'all meet a month. I mean, you know what? Scratch what I say. Uh, it all comes down to what you and your sugar daddy or sugar mama discusses. Whatever you feel comfortable accepting. Uh, I can't tell you what to accept. I already gave you the statistics now. Just run with it. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind is that these arrangements, relationships, they take time to develop. So don't think just because you're dealing with royalty that you're going to get a Lambo or a Bentley the first date. Okay? It, it's possible. It is possible, don't get me wrong, there are some girls that secure the bag on the first date, but then there are some girls that have to wait about a year or so into the arrangement before they can get, you know, big gifts from their guy. It just it just depends on so many different factors. Uh, I can't even name them all. So, um, 
So yeah, just remember to speak up. Let it be known what you want out of the arrangement. Um, don't. It's no reason to play mind games or to try to scam. Like y'all, y'all both are grown at the end of the day. Like no one has time for that. Why waste each other's time? And ask the right questions on the first day as well. Like ask them, what are you looking for in this relationship? Why did you reach out to me? And make sure that you know why you are going into an arrangement um yeah that's all i can say uh i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one. Oh, if you know any other types of sugar daddies please list them down in the description box i don't know if i said that yet or not uh and let me know what other videos y'all want to see as well. Okay, now I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.